So now we're going to be looking at assertion methods in Chai. And assertion methods are basically these test methods that we can use. And we can give them a value or the result of a function, for example. And what it will do is it'll check if it meets a certain criteria. So this can be whether it's a certain type or whether it's null or not or something like that. And the ones we're going to be looking at is the is null and is not null method. So this one checks if the value is null and this one checks if the value is not null. And um, these are all part of the assert collection of methods in chai. So the way you would do this is you would say something like chai.assert. So this gives you access to the assert methods in chai. Then what you would do is you'd say assert dot and then you would say is null like this. So this is how you'd call the is null method. And as you can see, it says here, it says that a value type is null. So the first argument you give it is the value. And this can be a, a, a literal value, like a string saying hello world, or a number, or you know, um, a date or something like that. Or it can you can call a function in here and it will return the result of that function. And the second argument is an error message to display if this test fails. So that's the important part, if it fails. And this is a string. And when you're given these error messages, you have to make it descriptive so that it, it tells um, whoever runs these tests exactly what's gone wrong. So you can say something like um, the given value was not null, like this. And then if I save this and I run the script, um, we can see here that the test has failed and has thrown this er assertion error message right here. And it will say assertion error and then it will say the error message right here. So, and it says expected hello world to equal null, which it didn't. So it tells you exactly why this test has failed. And again, it's got an, it's got in an object format as well. It said that the actual value is hello world. So the actual is always the value that, like the actual true value that it got and the expected value is what it was expecting for the test to pass and as you can see this test has failed um, if we change this now to null and I run this test again we can see that nothing comes up so if these tests pass then nothing comes up no errors are thrown or anything so if nothing comes up we can assume that the tests have passed now the second method is the um, assert not null method and what that is the, the exact opposite of assert null. So you would just say assert not null here and it checks if a value is not null. And here we want to change the error message. So if this fails, it means the value was null. So you would say something like the given value was null. If we save that and I run the test again, we can see that the test fails this time. and um, as you can see, it says the given value was null, and it's expected null to e not equal null. So this one makes sure it doesn't equal null. And again, um, that has failed. So the way you would make this test pass, obviously, is just to give it anything that's not null. So you can give a string like hello world, or one, or something like that. And if you run the test again, we can see that it passes with no error message. So what they wanted to do in the challenge is we would need to use assert is null or assert is not null to make the test pass. And most of these challenges requires to make the test pass so that an error doesn't get thrown. So if we go into, once again, it's in tests and then unit test.js, we can see that try has been required here. And we can see that this variable assert has been set to try.assert. So we can just use this assert from now on. And this is where it goes. So we have this assert.fail, which will cause it to fail and throw an error message. And what we need to do is make these tests pass. So the first one um, we have to call is null here. So we will say assert dot is null here. Once again, remember our goal is to make the tests pass. So if we give null to is null, we know that it will pass. The second thing we need to use is we need to make this one pass and we, we have to use is not null here. So if we give one or a string or any value other than null to is not null, we know this passes. And again, our aim is to make sure that this test passes. So once we made those changes, um, if you click on share and then live app and copy it, and then just paste it into here, that's pretty much everything we need to do here and we are good to go.